hello guys welcome to my this video and today in this video just i will show you how you can add new value i mean you can push a new value in an array so guys here this video i am making because my own viewers asked me and even this is not the simple thing here you have to use the spread operator for doing this one in html we can do it easily but in react here we have to use the spread operator okay and what is the purpose of use spread operator that i will discuss in this video also and here guys so first of all i will create an array so you know guys when just we want to update the dom okay so that time we cannot do it manually in react here react decide how dom will be updated so that's why i have made all some videos about use state okay so here use state just used to update the dom in react so if you don't know use state so you have to watch me all this previous tutorial there i have discussed about use state and in this video by using of use state just i will show you how you can add the value in array okay so first of all i will import use state so in by this video here you can understand like some about uh, something about use state and how to update the array i mean uh, like spread operator so different different thing you can understand by this video okay so first of all i have to import use state so here you can see i have imported use state but from react because this is default of react okay so that's why i have imported from react it is clear and now guys here just i will create an array so in H, uh, normal html that time we create array like this okay and here we just put some value like this okay so and when we want to add some new value in this array so how we can do that so in normal html i'm saying right now so here suppose is a button and the type is button okay because when i will click this button so that time i will add the new value in this array okay so this is button when i'll click this one so here i want to add a new value okay so here we write a function okay so in react the function syntax is different i mean like on click and then we write the function name inside this curly braces okay the so function name i will write my function and here we don't need to write any parenthesis like this okay simply like this so i will copy this one and just here i will create the function so here the uh, two ways we can write the function one is using function keyword everything i will show you that is function keyword and the function name that is my function so i will copy this one and paste now parenthesis and this way. so this way we can do that otherwise we can use the uh, fat arrow function so the syntax of fat arrow function is like equals to equals to an arrow like this okay and in react here when we write the fat arrow function so that time we need to define this function inside an variable so just i will make this my function function as an variable so i will use const keyword here you can use var let anything but i have used the const keyword so const keyword is the benefit here i am using the const keyword so i cannot define this function here again right here you can see it is showing the error but if you write the var keyword it is no problem here you can see so const means here we can define only one time right so by mistake suppose this function if you write uh, const keyword here and by mistake you, you are defining the same function any other places suppose there is the uh, 2000 line of code okay so and you don't know you already defined this function name uh, any places or not so that time by mistake if you have added the same function name so it will show the error and you can easily understand that this function name you already define so now you have to add the some different name of the function okay so that is the benefit of const keyword so here by this video you can understand the const keyword also so now here the main motive is to add some new value for in this array so here we very simple we can do that here we like write like array dot push and the value so value is suppose c okay so this way we can uh, we can just add the new value of this array means here if i console dot log and if i print this array variable means this one 
okay so the output should be here i'm writing the output our expected output should be the array okay and inside this array a comma b comma c because i have added the new value that is c okay so in html the we can expect this output okay let's see but in react we we can get this output or not okay so this is this is button so just here i have to open the inspect okay because i have printed this value in console okay this is console so just i will refresh this one this one once and if i click this one so here here you can see when i'm just clicking this button in console i'm getting this okay you can see so now i will just display this array in dom means here means it will not dis i mean it, i will not show in console i will show in the dom so let's see how can do that so just simply just below the button i will display so here i have to write the map function okay because when we display the array we write for loop for each loop right because this array there is not only one value there is maximum value so this value i have to be loop okay so that time we use for loop for each loop any kind of thing but in react we use more, mainly map okay so here array because this array this one i want to display so array but before that guys i have to write this curly braces means just here i i just i'm going to bind something okay so array dot map parenthesis and inside this parenthesis again another parenthesis like this okay and here i will write fit arrow function because map map uh, method it takes up another function as an parameter so this map again i will show you about this map method suppose array dot map okay so first it's a method so i will write like this parenthesis means it's a method and it takes a another method or you can say it another function means inside this parenthesis i have to write like this and then fit arrow function okay like this okay so now here i will write a deep tag okay this is deep tag i will close this deep tag this is done and this uh, this parameter takes two value one is value value means those a b and new value i will push this c also and another is index so that i will de denotes as an i okay by the way this parameter name you can change as per your choice okay so i means index like 0 1 because array start from 0 so 0 1 and c value i will add so that time it will be 2 like this okay so here i will just bind this value okay because i want to display the value not index if i display i here means it will be it will show first 0 1 when i will add the c it will show 2 like this okay so uh, this one and so why i'm just taking the i because in react when it will be loop because i'm i will just print the value means first it here it will print a again this div will be render again and will print b like this so every div should be a unique key okay so that's why key equals to the curly braces and here i will write arr is a string and i will just concat with this i means this i it is an index first 0 1 2 means it will provide us some unique value 0 1 2 3 okay like this so two string if you have an, any doubt so you can write in comment array so when first div will, will render means just here i will show you what it will be happen so when it will render the first div like this okay suppose here is the div and here is the div okay and first it will print a like this okay and this key will be like this key so arr and i first time it will be zero so here it will zero like this so second time when it will render so i will just paste here it will be b and the array key will be one because see index is for z zero and then is one 
like this it will render okay big and keys always in react it needs a unique key each element when it will it it is an low so this is done so just i will save and i will just check it so here you can see so i will just remove this console first of all and refresh it once so here you can see it is displaying a and b so now if i click okay so here you can see it is not displaying c because guys in react when we update the dom so that time we need to use use state right so now instead of like this just i will write use state but in console if i see you can see it's already printed c but in dom it is not updating so if i go to the console so here you can see first it was a b c like this suppose i'll just clear and again also so here if i click so a b c it is adding again so if i click here so it is adding again c like this but in dom it is not updating because i have to use use state for updating the dom i already said this one and those i already have discussed in, in this video my motive is to update the i mean add the new value in this array so that's why i'm showing everything from begin because i don't want that any confuse uh, it it will stay in on you so that's why okay everything i'm trying to explain so now here just i will write var keyword okay and array equals to this is an u state okay like this so this u state okay just compare with normal define array and u state so u state takes two values one is variable and another is for updating the value so this is the simple variable so first just uh, i will do one thing first this is the value default value okay i mean uh, at the after the on load what value i want to show so i want to show a and b so this default value i have to pass inside this parenthesis of used like this okay okay this one and the variable so it takes two values one is i mean two index one is a variable and another is for updating the value so this is one means now here you can see this one same like normal this one but for updating purpose here i have to pass another index that is any name you can provide but normally in react we write the set and after that a name okay by the way this one it is not like mandatory to you have to write the set like this here you can if you want to write a it is perfect okay i mean no error you will get here everything is fine but sometime we just follow some rules so here always we write set keyword and then the another variable so i have written arr because i'm trying to update this value okay so that's why i i hope you have understand this one okay so now here everything is fine you can see okay so here this array it will display if i refresh so it will display this one same way but guys at the time to update what i have to do i have to use this one okay so now here you can see just i will remove from console and i have to use set arr okay and after added the new value c just what i will do this arr i will add here okay so now let's see if i save and refresh so here you can see still it is not updating so guys for understanding the spread operator just here i will take an variable a okay and in this variable i will just assign an array and some value like a 1 2 3 and 4 okay and now guys here just i will take an another variable that is b and inside this b variable just i will store our this array a means now a value it's copied into the b variable i hope it is and it is understandable because it is very simple thing and just it is copied perfectly or not so for for checking this one just i will print the value okay so console dot lock 
a and now i will print the value of b as well b like this so just i will save this one and i will check the console so here you can see just i will replace once so here you can see the value of a it is like this so for understanding purpose what i will do here i will concat a string value okay so i will write value a got it and just i will copy this one and here i will paste like this okay and here i will write b okay so now just i will deface it once so here you can see value of a this one and value of b this one means same value because the a's array i added in this b i mean i assigned in this b okay so now guys suppose here if i write a 0 a 0 equals to 50 i think you are getting confused a 0 means this is array okay so here 0 1 2 3 those are called index array start from 0 array index start from 0 so now here this a, a 0 index if i assign 50 so output should be like this for a output should be like this so 50 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 because here i change the array a 0 index value as 50 so value output should be come like this and the b should be this one right because a's value first i put in this b and after that i am changing the value of a i mean array value of a right so this should be the output our expected output so let's see so if i refresh refresh it once so here you can see the a value is changed and the same way b value is also changed so that time we need the spread operator right so that time we just use spread operator so without assigning simple a here we write array and this this is called spread operator okay so now just i will save this one and here if i refresh so here you can see only it is change value of a not b so this is spread operator so i hope it is clear i mean it doesn't change our existing value it's add the new one but does not change our existing one so that is spread operator so same way just i will replace this one and same way i will add the spread operator here okay because i need the old value that is a and b and up, up with the old existing one I need the new value what I'm going to add that is C so here I will write the spread operator means array and this three dot this is called spread operator so now if I save and go to the browser re refresh once and if I add so here you can see it is adding the new value right C so I hope guys you have understand this one how you can add the new value in array or you can say it how to update the array value okay and by this video you can understand many of things like const keyword okay and how to use the u state this one okay and the purpose of u state you can understand also like this and how you can display an array okay this is very important thing because when we get the api so that time it comes in a json format and json nothing but it's a array string format of an array okay so i'm not going more about the json in this video because i already discussed this json in javascript tutorial okay so this one here this is the spread operator we call okay and the purpose of use spread operator you can understand also so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more update and react so please subscribe my channel as well